News anchor reporting on stolen puppy sees man walking the same dog down the street. Dog napping is a scary thing. If certain people think that a dog breed is valuable, they'll just up and steal it. Historically, in the United States, dogs have been stolen and sold on for medical research, but the introduction of the Animal Welfare Act of 1966 reduced these occurrences. The profit available to dog nappers varies based on the value of the dog or the amount that its original owners are willing to pay as a ransom. Dog organizations recommended microchipping of dogs in order to facilitate an animal's return to its rightful owners. It's a scary reality and still happens today, although it isn't as common. Although it doesn't happen as often, it still does. One recent occurrence shows us that a sharp mind and a lucky reporter can sometimes be the difference between a lost dog and a found one. One reporter was actively recording when something incredible happened. Juliana Matza is a Boston area reporter and shows us that anyone can be a hero even while on the job. While working for 7 News, she was sent out with her crew to cover a local dog napping that had happened in an area parking lot. Juliana went live and was explaining the story a bit when she noticed something strange. Titus, a German short-haired pointer, had been taken in that very parking lot last Friday. Titus was 13 months old and his owner, Greg Siskowitz, was heartbroken. With Juliana out there, they were hoping to get the word out about Titus. While Juliana was filming, she saw a man walking a dog that looked exactly like Titus. Thinking on her feet, she called the man over and asked if he wanted to be on the news. As she questioned the man, things became obvious. Juliana started petting the dog and asking questions to the man who looked exactly like the photo that the police had released of the dog napper. Bending down, she did her best to get a good look at his tag discreetly. After a quick peek, she was able to confirm that this was, in fact, Titus. If this was Titus, that meant the man was the dog napper. She continued to ask him questions, pushing more and more until the man realized what was going on. As the dog napper realized he was caught, it was already too late. He'd been seen on camera and was literally going to be on the news for his crimes. You didn't think to call the number on the tag? Juliana called 911 on the spot and was able to be the person to trap the man and find the dog. As she called 911, the man stood there in complete shock. The man was arrested only a few minutes later and taken in on larceny and breaking into a vehicle. When Greg was able to see his dog again, it was heartwarming. Greg broke into tears, and Titus was sure happy to not be walked by a stranger. Now that's investigative journalism. Please share this story with your friends and family.